Hey, 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 everyone. I'm Rosie from K15T, and this is your weekly dose of Confluence. So let's dive right in and talk about a game-changing feature in Confluence Cloud. Public links. Starting this October, if you're on a paid plan, you can now share view-only Confluence pages with anyone, simply by sending a link. This is especially helpful if you want to quickly share information with someone who doesn't have access to your Confluence site. There's no more complicated workarounds. So how does it work? Simply go to the share button and turn on the public link. Then copy it to your clipboard and share away. But what about security, you ask? Don't worry, Confluence has you covered. You get granular controls at both the site and space levels, so you can decide exactly what goes public and what stays private. Plus, there are audit logs and notifications to keep you in the loop. So go ahead and make your knowledge accessible, but on your terms. Next on the agenda is an update for automation for Confluence. Drum roll, please. Automations are now available for end users and directly available when viewing a page. So what does this mean? Space admins can now create automations with a manual trigger from a page, which shows the automation within the page header. The trigger allows you to let anyone trigger the automation, or you can just choose specific users to get even more control. This is especially helpful to automate common tasks on pages, such as requesting feedback or copy edits. Look for the lightning bolt icon next to the comment section, and you'll know you're in the right place. This feature is already live for premium and enterprise users. So go ahead, automate your Confluence experience and let us know what you think. Our last news topic for today covers the table of contents macro. Do you ever find yourself editing a page and wondering, what will my table of contents look like when I'm done? Well, wonder no more. Confluence has rolled out a feature that lets you see your table of contents in real time as you're editing. This means no more surprises after hitting that publish button. To get started, simply type a forward slash while editing. Type table of contents and insert the macro. As you add headings, the table of contents now updates automatically. And stay tuned because clickable heading links in edit mode are coming up next. If you liked this video, you're gonna love our newsletter. So make sure to check it out and like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.